It's been way too long since I've played tennis. Oh, hello. My name's Joe. I'm from the St. Bonaventure Confirmation Program. Well, this kind of reminds me of somebody, specifically one of my favorite saints from the last uh, 30 years. You might be a little surprised there. The last 30 years? It's important to remember there are many saints among us in the 20th and 21st centuries. Uh, one of my favorite examples, actually, uh, coming back to the tennis ball, her name was Chiara Padano. So Chiara was born on October 29th, 1971, in Savona, Italy, to parents who had actually been praying for a child for 11 years. She was a total answer to their prayers. From an early age, I think the joy that generosity brings to somebody shone through in Chiara. It was only amplified when she uh, became acquainted with a lay movement in the church called the Focolare Movement. The Focolare Movement was about community, building unity around the world by seeking this unity, finding it, and living it. I think it really spoke to her recognition of the other, of the other person. She was an incredible listener, an incredible friend. One of the things that the movement really brought to her, brought to her attention really, was the gospel and its importance. She even said, I have rediscovered the gospel. I was not an authentic Christian because I did not live it fully. I won't and cannot remain illiterate of such an extraordinary message. Now I want to make this wonderful book the only goal of my life. So Kiara is growing up, and she develops this intense love for skating or uh, tennis. And this joy and this love of people just continues to suffuse her life. So around the time that she turns 17, she uh, is playing tennis and uh, feels this sudden pain in one of her shoulders. They find out it's bone cancer, one where she doesn't really have much of a shot. And she just kept her joy and her cheerfulness. Throughout this year, she, of painful treatments, of losing use of her legs after beginning chemo, uh, she offered everything, every ounce of pain to God. She actually had this incredible prayer that she would say that I think has a lot of applicability in our lives. For you, Jesus, if you want this, so do I. So you can actually go and find pictures of Kiara during this time when she was struggling with the illness, stuck in bed, and I think you'll see this joyous light that seemed to emanate from her. Everyone who came across her was just amazed at the peace she had with her situation. If you look at even her last words, with her mother next to her, and she says to her, Mom, ciao, be happy because I am. I think if there's something we can take from Kiara, it's the idea that the gospel, our Catholic faith, should fill us with joy. And that this can be an incredible witness to other young people. It's profoundly inspiring to me, actually, to see a young person in this kind of modern, crazy, confused world able to live her faith to such a grand extent and to see the joy that comes out of that. Reading the gospel, living it with joy, can truly transform our lives and the world around us.